Hey, welcome back to Way's Garage. Uh, we've got a quick episode today uh, where I want to address something. Uh, it's a question that I've gotten a couple times where people sometimes are asking me what these spiky things that we use sometimes uh, on our car are. Uh, they're a really handy tool and uh, I'm going to let our resident aircraft builder, Jim, tell you a little bit more about them. <clears throat> Twenty little things Mark was talking about. These are called clicos, and what they are used in, they're used extensively by home builders for aircraft, for lining up metal parts in preparation for riveting. And sometimes home builders of aircraft will use blind rivets, or they may use rivets that have to be bucked. Um, in automotive, most of the time we deal with rivets from what I've seen anyway, that are actually blind rivets, or as you know it, a pop rivet. But the way a Clico works, this is an eighth inch Clico, and it's used for holes to accept a one eighth inch rivet. And how these work is, this is a Clico plier. The Clico is inserted into the seat of the plier, and this is a spring-loaded plunger. But what I want you to watch is that when I squeeze this, it extends the fingers of the Clico, and you can see on the very end there's little catches. And as this pulls back, the whole Clico with the catches expands, grabs the metal, and holds it fast. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I took two pieces of scrap sheet metal, drilled eighth inch holes in them to accept a rivet, and this also bears mentioning because you should deburr either with a deburring tool or a slightly larger drill, uh, drill bit, deburr the hole so you don't have any burrs sticking out of the hole when you get ready to set your rivet. Well, I've already done that on both pieces. But let's just say that these are two pieces of metal that we are eventually going to rivet, but we just want to hold them temporarily because maybe we have other rivets to set down the line. And what you do is, once the hole is drilled through both pieces and they're deburred, you take your Clico, squeeze the pliers so those fingers go together, insert it in the hole all the way, and then let go. And you can see the little fingers with the indents have now grabbed and they're holding the two pieces of metal together because the spring inside the Clico is pulling those fingers back and they will not slip out. These are the greatest things since sliced bread. If you have a lot of rivets to do, get one set and then you can just go down the line and do the rest with Clicos so things don't move around while you're trying to rivet and then come back and one by one, you'll pull a Clico out. You'll then take your pop rivet, stick it inside the hole, holding it flat, and start squeezing until the head snaps off. And see how nice and flat and flush that is with the actual sheet metal. The big thing about Clicos is, I mean, it's true. If you were just doing one rivet, you really don't need Clicos. But if you have a series of rivets to do, they're worth their weight in gold because you can drill your holes and get everything set in the metal that way nothing jumps around. Instead of putting one rivet in, you may drill another hole, and now you find out your alignment's off and it gets all screwed up. You can do your holes, you can set your Clico, so when you do your final riveting, everything's set up.
that's your crash course in Clecos. Thanks for watching.